I'm Michaela with Vacuum Cleaner Market and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about our new Mila Triflex HX1 Cat and Dog. This is their newest stick model. Um, it's amazing. Um, so I'm gonna go through a little bit of what it comes with and then the different configurations you can do and then your filter and how to empty out your dustbin. Um, so first, this is what it comes with. So I'll go a little bit more in depth. You're gonna get two manuals. Then you have your pet upholstery tool. This guy does have a spinning brush roll, so when you're going over your upholstery, you can get all the cat or dog hair off. It comes with a charging port, plus the cord. You get your bonus three tools. So you have your upholstery tool, your crevice tool, and your dusting brush. Um, it comes with this little attachment holder when you remove it, you can see that this crevice tool goes into this position so that you're not mixing them up, just like that. Then it comes with the actual vacuum unit, the canister. Then you have your handle. You have your wand. And then you have your power head. This power head does have a spinning brush roll and it can do hardwood floors and low to medium pile carpeting. Now, a special thing about this power head since we already have it in my hand is you can remove the brush roll and it's super easy. So this button right back here, there's a little locking mechanism. So you're gonna push it, go to the side and there's a little arrow, you're gonna push that up and your brush roll is gonna be right there. So you're gonna go ahead and pull on that and you can remove your brush roll completely. So this is great for cleaning out that pet hair or even your own hair or replacing your brush roll even. So then to put it back, you're just gonna go ahead and reinsert it, push it in, and then slide this guy back over and just make sure that you go ahead and lock it back up. So now for this model, you have two different filters. So your filters are located on the main canister piece, right at the top. So right here you have a little pull. You're gonna go ahead and pull that, and that's gonna release this filter right here. So this filter is washable, but you can replace it, and we do recommend replacing it um, maybe every one to two years usually, just to keep your suction good. And when you do wash it, make sure you dry it for at least 24 hours um, just in case so that you don't get any moisture inside of your motor. Then you have your second filter right here. So there's a little locking button. You're gonna turn that and pull out. This one is also washable, but you can replace it. And then for your dustbin, um, if you're wanting to clean it, um, which you should do at least once a month, just to keep the maintenance of your vacuum good and the suction power. What I do is I take a little microfiber cloth or an e-cloth, go ahead and go inside and wipe it down. Um, you can wipe down these filters right here as well. So to reinsert your filters, you're gonna go ahead and take this one, insert it, and you're gonna turn it to lock it. Then this guy right here will go back in and you'll push it and it'll lock back in. So now to remove your dustbin, you have this little locking pattern right here. You're gonna turn it, that's gonna unlock it, and you can remove it directly off of your powered motor. So to empty it out, you're gonna continue with the turning. This little flap right here will open. You're gonna do it over a trash can. And then to close it back up, you're gonna go ahead and turn this all the way, and then you're gonna shut this. So you're gonna make sure it clicks. And once you hear that clicking mechanism, it's closed. To reinsert this back on, you're gonna line this guy right here in this hole with these protrusions right here. So you're gonna go ahead and push that down. And that should also click as well, just like that. So now on your actual canister, it does show you the power, battery power right here. Um, all the way up, it's gonna be fully charged, and then as it decreases, it's, it's gonna go down. 
Um, so for charging, speaking of the battery, the battery is located on the back side right here. To remove it, you have two buttons. You have one right here and the other right here. So you're gonna go ahead and push those at the same time and pull. So now this battery, once you first initially get it, you should charge it for at least four hours and then um, go ahead and put it on the vacuum and you can go ahead and do your cleaning. Um, but for battery time, you're looking at about 17 to 60 minutes of runtime, depending on what accessory you are using. So say you're using your power head, it is gonna lessen the time because of the, power, the, the battery it takes to move the brush roll. So then to reinsert it, you wanna line these guys right here up with this one. So you're gonna slide it back on and it should click. So now for the different configurations, you have three different ones you can do. The first one will be your main canister piece, your handle that hooks on, just like that. And then you can go ahead and put your upholstery tool on there. You can put your motorized upholstery tool to do your upholstery or even the dog beds. Or amazing features, you can put your power head. So that clicks directly on there, just like that. So if you need to do your stairs, super convenient. The second configuration will be to have your, so you have your handle, your canister, then you attach your wand, just like that. And then you attach your power head, just like that. So now you have a regular stick vacuum. Um, with this one, the weight is gonna be all at the top of the handle. So if you do have arthritis, this next configuration may be a little bit better for you or even if you have shoulder or back problems. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it. You're gonna push this button right here, pull away. The second button on the wand is right here. You're gonna pull that. For your handle, your button is kind of hidden. It's right beneath here. You're gonna pull that and pull away from the vacuum. And so the second configuration, you're gonna have your wand directly on here, just like this. Then your handle at the top. And then you're gonna put your power head right here. So with this configuration, your vacuum is able to stand on its own and the weight's a little bit towards the bottom, so it's easier to push around your home. And then I'll show you it standing up. So it does stand on its own, um, whereas the other configuration, unfortunately, it does not. So super convenient if you're wanting to store your vacuum. So this is the Mila Triflex HX1 cat and dog. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us via chat, phone, or email. We're available 24 seven, and we do have a US-based customer service. I'm Michaela with Vacuum Cleaner Market, and happy vacuuming.